Hi, this is Lee, and this is me painting miniature from board game Ankh Gods of Egypt from Simon Games, and this is a third mythic themed uh, area control miniature board game designed by Eric Lan. Uh, this miniature is Warrior of Anubis. Anubis is one of the uh, factions in the core game. Uh, miniature card is great from Simon Games, great, and I didn't have to spend much time cutting mood lines, fixing all the small issues may appear on PVC minis. Uh, prime this guy in black and all the paints I used in this video are from Games Workshop base paint set uh, Citadel base paint set um, So yellow, red, blue, brown, black, white uh, That's pretty much all the colors um, I mix paints by myself. I don't like use specific color for this specific area um, About the color scheme, I'm mainly trying to uh, follow the uh, original concept art by Adrian Smith as a reference, I'm mainly trying to mimic that. Um, but I did uh, apply the affection color of Anubis onto the miniature because it is a board game after all. If you paint on the miniatures and uh, when you're playing game, you are going to have trouble finding your own faction minis because they are all like king. Different colors are too colorful, so I uh, I was thinking apply the uh, so all Anubis factions are uh, are in like light purple color. All the miniatures were producing this light purple uh, plastic, and all the uh, plastic tokens and the the, the the symbol of the Anubis are like light purple ish color. So I was thinking apply this color onto the miniature as well. Um, anyway, this is a tabletop level paint job. It's not like fancy at all. Uh, I've spent like an hour, maybe an hour, 20 minutes or less, but r roughly an hour. I, uh, I've finished all the Anubis uh, miniatures by the time I'm recording this. So roughly average small uh, warriors and also the ones in Pharaoh expansions uh, were taking like average an hour each to finish. Uh, so they're like quick uh, tabletop level paint jobs. Uh, I've pretty much done the shield here already, so... <laughs>
Hi, this is Lee, and this is me painting miniature from board game Ankh Gods of Egypt from Simon Games, and this is their third mythic themed uh, error control miniature board game designed by Eric Lan. Uh, this miniature is Warrior of Anubis. Anubis is one of the uh, factions in the core game. Uh, miniature quality is great from Simon Games, great, and I didn't have to spend much time cutting mood lines, fixing all the small issues may appear on PVC minis. Uh, prime this guy in black and all the paints I use in this video are from Games Workshop base paint set uh, Set out base paint set um, So yellow, red, blue, brown, black, white uh, That's pretty much all the colors. Um, I mix paints by myself. I don't like use specific color for this specific area um, About the color scheme, I'm mainly trying to uh, follow the uh, original concept art by Adrian Smith as a reference, I'm mainly trying to mimic that. Um, but I did uh, apply the affection color of Anubis onto the miniature because it is a board game after all. If you paint all the miniatures and uh, when you're playing game, you are going to have trouble finding your own faction minis because they are all like king. Different colors are too colorful, so I uh, I was thinking apply the uh, so all Anubis factions are uh, are in like light purple color. All the miniatures were producing this light purple uh, plastic, and all the uh, plastic tokens and the the, the the symbol of the Anubis are like light purple-ish color. So I was thinking apply this color onto the miniature as well. Um, anyway, this is a tabletop level paint job. It's not like fancy at all. Uh, spent like an hour, maybe an hour twenty minutes or less, but r roughly an hour. I uh, I finished all the Anubis uh, miniatures by the time I'm recording this. So roughly average small uh, warriors and also the ones in Pharaoh expansions uh, were taking like average an hour each to finish. Uh, so they're like quick uh, tabletop level paint jobs. And I've pretty much done the shield here already. So um, anyway, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, I have a small showcase by the end of this video. If you are uh, trying to just you know look at what I end up with, go straight to the end. Thank you. Right, so that's all the uh, Anubis factions miniatures, small miniatures, that was warriors. Um, so like I said, the standard tabletop painting level, um, all the same, pretty much, maybe one or two. The first few, maybe I spent a little bit more time on, and the rest of them are kind of just, you know. When you paint too many, like, same miniatures, you are going to have this kind of you know you want to rush to finish them um, like those ones are the first few I believe because if you look at the base um, this one and this one uh, this one and this one are a little bit red compared to those three I believe those three are the first of the first three I did because the, the, the it was it was a little bit too red at the start um, I try to fix it by just you know overlay a uh, light color on top, but uh, not that balanced. But but uh, again, uh, it's pretty much the same color. A little bit, a little bit too red, but but uh, you 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 can, you can tell it's the same color range. It's in the same color range. Um, all the warriors are. Uh, 
using the same process, follow the same process. So start with the shield, and you get shield down, you get knife down, and then you get all those shoulder armor, uh, all those like small golden those details on the on the side of them, and then dry brush the side and to make it look like a uh, I don't know a, a, a light purplish environment lighting from the side from the side. So all the warriors using the same process, same process, uh, and their average average time or like an hour. I also finished all the priests, uh, but I didn't record any videos. Uh, priests are different. They don't have like a shield like warrior do. They don't have like a quite large focus point and uh, they, they do have like small details small you know like like those metal metal stuff on um, golden stuff on on the on the armor on on the body so they're kind of annoying because too small details too small and uh, you don't know where to focus but again they they all share the same idea to have a uh this light purple color uh dry brushing from the side so it's all right uh wait uh let's see which i believe this one this one is the latest one this one is the last one i finished and uh if you can tell the eyeball is a little bit too big it's not a correct shape uh, the color extruded a little bit but they're all they're all pretty much same quality i i say same quality um Backside. I think this this was the this 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 is the latest one. This, this is the first one I believe. I think I think is this the first one? Is this the first one I did? This is the last one. I'm pretty sure of that. Uh, which one did I do first? I think this one. This is the one I did first because the the backside of the head armor looks looks better looks better and. Uh, and the color is a little bit like unlike this one. This color is a little bit too much on the base, but but uh, they look all right. Looks all right. And I missed the color on this one, uh, the blue bit. I need to fix that. So yeah, th this was the first priest I did. Right. So that's all the Anubis. It's warriors and priests, Anubis followers. Um, I'll have a Anubis painting, not process, but a random, random painting process uh, uploaded later this week. Uh, but yeah, those are the uh, small miniatures from the uh, Anubis faction from board game Ankh Gods of Egypt. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time.